All right, we're back for more mystery and mayhem or something like that. Anyways, so uh, I think I got this seal thing figured out. I recut this vertical seal here. I'm gluing them together and uh, left it in here uh, overnight and let, the, let it all uh, cure and I think I think that's going to fix the problem so go ahead and move on to uh, finishing this slide up slide out up got to pull all these skins off coat it rivet them put sealant in it and rivet them all back up and get this done sick and tired of working on slide outs and seals and whatnot next I think I'm going to move on to the floors to rip all this floor up put new uh, new plywood down and, uh, and then the framework for the fin you know for the up there that'll be the subfloor and then the uh, framework for the uh, finished floor I have to put that down to weld a bunch of I'm gonna use two inch angle for that and uh, run that all the way to the front and then uh, put the finished floor down so and and I went down to Blaine this morning and picked up uh, have my the quarter inch rivets these shave head rivets been waiting for those to be available for almost a year now well, eight months I guess not really a year but uh, so we got those so we can finish up the Finish up the uh, rivets on the side here. Get this all finished up. And uh, I also got some short reach 3 316 rivets. Same thing, the shave head ones. And they, we will use those up in that area up there and for the cap the uh, longer reach ones won't work they uh, don't go in deep enough so I had to get a shorter reach rivet those took a while to come in too so that can get finished up and water separator and fuel pump for the generator so we'll get that all operational here soon thing good needs a good pressure wash and paint make it more presentable won't install that for a while yet but it'd be nice to get it running and I have to replace the the um, voltage regulator I believe on the generator uh, it was acting up when we were using it last time, so we'll uh, get that done as well. Anyways, you know that slide out finished up. I'm sick of working on slide outs. Well, hello again, everybody. Um, this uh, third slide out. I'm calling done. Uh, I have a few more, a couple more little things to do on it. Uh, just little details, but um, I'm going to call it done. Uh, it was about an 11 hour day yesterday, which was a long day. <laughs> and uh, I'm just in the process of uh, Finishing up this doghouse cover here. I'm just going to put a seal on it, flip it over, put this uh, uh, rock wool insulation in that, and put the uh, aluminum cover on it. Um, I'm <coughs> saying this is a bit of a milestone for me. Um, this is pretty much it for the major construction on this thing. I mean, of course, there's <laughs> a crap load more construction, but, you know, for the most part, all the major stuff, all the, the, uh, is pretty much done. Um, so, 
from here on out it's uh, smaller projects and I'm uh, looking forward to that because I'm getting we're getting pretty darn tired of doing slide outs and skinning and I mean I got all the rivets to put in uh, yet and you know there's all kinds of details but nothing uh, all of major figuring is pretty much done so anyways um, so let's see uh, I'm pretty happy about that now I can move on to other you know like I say that the next project will be the floor and and um, and uh, then the lot ceiling all that kind of stuff so should be smaller smaller projects I imagine you guys are probably getting sick of watching me skin <laughs> skin aluminum stuff as skick sick as I am of doing it anyways um, I've been working on this thing for 21 months it's taken two and a half years to do 21 months um, I'm Figuring I haven't really been keeping you know an accurate score of or track of, of, of time, but um, I'm Averaging about a hundred hours a month. So about 2100 hours to this point um, I'm figuring right in the neighborhood of 4,000 hours to, to finish to finish it to do the whole thing um, So I'm a little over basically halfway for all intents and purposes so Anybody that's done this is well aware of the time involved. Anybody that hasn't done it and, you know, you're just kind of watching videos and, you know, don't really have any uh, idea of what uh, kind of time frame it takes to do something like this, that's that's where it's at. About uh, 20, like I say, about 2,100 hours, right in that ballpark anyways, to this point. And I'm figuring another close to 2,000 hours to, to finish it off. That'll be... That'll be painted. I'll be using it long before that, but um, that'll be, you know, by the time it's painted and, and all the systems are in. Um, so I hope to be using it uh, this time next year. So, uh, you know, hopefully I can work on it over the winter this year. And I don't think I'm going to get it insulated this year, but um, I'm going to, because uh, by the time I'm ready for it, it's going to be too cold. That spray foam has to be a... Uh, it's pretty specific temperature for it to cure properly so I'm going to uh, do this subfloor redo this where it's green here redo that and then put all the cross bracing in for the finished floor and lay run a bunch of, of services next um, one of the most important things is going to be the uh, shower and toilet penetrations through the through the floor here so I think fairly soon I'm going to order those and I'll do that and get those um, installed so that uh, those are in as well as uh, run conduit the full length down in that uh, down in that channel there um, and so I can run wiring and all that kind of stuff to the back of the bus um, I'm getting rid of all, as I said, you know, back when I started this, I'm getting rid of all of the original uh, wiring. So I'm just putting in circuits that I need. And uh, so that'll be about a third of what's in here now. Uh, anyways, so yeah, so I'm going to run a conduit uh, right down the this channel here and out into the engine compartment right at the right at the back here right in here I'll have uh, in, you know just go out into the engine compartment there and and run to uh, to a, a junction box and then out from there so anyways enough of my rambling I'm going to uh, finish this up this afternoon and uh, this uh, piece here drop the uh, drop a seal on that and uh, drop it back into place and then um, and uh, I'm going to call this a, uh, I'll just post this weekend's video and uh, basically, like I say, at least to me, it feels like a milestone. And uh, I'll, uh, of course, continue on with this as I, 
as I uh, do other projects. Uh, but um, and like I say, floor is next, and then other services and whatnot. But at least I'm feel like I'm starting to work on the motorhome portion of it, as opposed to uh, just uh, chassis work. So I do still have to do that, uh, rivet down that front cap. Uh, that's one job I have left to do, and you know, along with other, like I said, uh, rivets along this. Um, this lower section and you know that kind of stuff but so it's not completely done but it's close enough that I'm going to call it anyways and uh, we'll go from there anyways like I said enough of my rambling so on we go